Here's one more example of L'Hopital's rule. And this one we're going to do the limit as x goes to 0 from the positive side of x times the natural log of x. Okay. Now, as usual, the first thing we want to do is direct substitution. So when we do that, what happens? Well, as x goes to 0 from the positive side, we have x here, so it just goes to 0. And then what happens with the natural log? So if we were to graph the natural log function real quick, um, just make a rough sketch, and we'll have something like this. So this is y equals natural log of x. And as x comes into 0 from the right, from the positive side, we're going to be following the natural function, the natural log function along this path, down this way. So we see that eventually or it's going to approach negative infinity. So what we have then back in the limit is 0 times negative infinity. And that's one of our seven indeterminate forms that we talked about in an earlier video. Now, yes, technically we just said 0 times infinity, but really that includes positive and negative infinity. Okay, there, so we have 0 times infinity, positive infinity, and 0 times negative infinity. They're both indeterminate forms for the exact same reasons. Um, and we could just group them together in the generic indeterminate form 0 times infinity. So we have an indeterminate form, so that makes us sad face. But really, it makes us happy face, because that tells us we can use L'Hopital's rule. But again, we can't use L'Hopital's rule immediately, because we didn't get the indeterminate form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Okay, We can only use L'Hopital's rule directly if we get one of those, which we didn't. But what we can do is do some algebraic manipulations on this guy over here so that we can get something in a form that when evaluated by direct substitution will give us one of these guys here. So let's go ahead and try that, see what happens. So we'll get rid of these. Okay, so we want to do some algebraic manipulations on x times natural log of x so that we hopefully get one of these indeterminate forms here. Okay, so let's try some stuff. So we have limits as x goes to 0 from the positive side of x times natural log of x. Now let's go ahead and do something kind of crazy and write this as natural log of x divided by 1 divided by x, like that. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, x times natural log of x. Remember, if you divide by something, that's like multiplying by its reciprocal. So here, if we take natural log of x, oops, if we take natural log of x and divide it by 1 over x, that's the same thing as taking the natural log of x and multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 over x. What's the reciprocal of 1 over x? Well, it's just x, okay? So x times the natural log of x is the same thing as natural log of x divided by 1 over x, okay? So it's a little goofy to do that. There aren't really many cases or times when we, when we would want to do something like that, but this is one of those cases, okay? When we do L'Hopital's rule and we get something like this, we want to try something goofy like this, and how does that help us? Well, now let's try direct substitution again. And what happens? Well, again, natural log of x goes to negative infinity. And what happens over here? 1 over x, if we were to graph that, we, that's a pretty bad graph. So we, we see that if, we, if x approaches 0 from the positive side, we see that this goes up to positive infinity. Okay, so really, 1 over x uh, approaches 1 over 0 from the positive side. Oops which we know approaches positive infinity. So what we have then is negative infinity over positive infinity, which is indeed one of our indeterminate forms. Okay, now yeah, we wrote it earlier as infinity over infinity, but really that includes positive and negatives wherever, wherever they are. So plus minus infinity over plus minus infinity. So we have that, and that's great. That makes us super happy face, because now we can use L'Hopital's rule directly. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that get rid of that. So L'Hopital's rule says, oops, okay so again what we just did was we evaluated this by direct substitution and we got this indeterminate form so we can use L'Hopital's rule on this right here. So that's what we're going to do now. So limit as x goes to 0 from the positive side of natural log of x divided by 1 over x equals now remember, we take the derivative of the top, which means this part here, and the bottom, which means this part here, separately. Okay, So this is limit as x goes to 0 from the positive side of what's the derivative of natural log of x? It's just 1 over x, right? Now if we take the derivative of 1 over x, what's that? Well, there are a few different ways we can think about that, but 1 over x, we can write that as x to the negative 1. So if we use the power rule, 
Okay, so 1 over x equals x to the negative, whoops, equals x to the negative 1. So if we use the power rule for derivatives, that's going to give us negative 1 times x to the negative 2, which equals negative 1 over x squared. Okay, if you want, you could use the quotient rule on this here, but that would kind of be overkill, but it will still work. But anyway, we get negative 1 over x squared. Okay, so now let's simplify that and see what happens. So when we simplify that, what we get is limit as x goes to 0 from the positive side of 1 over x times. So if we divide by negative 1 over x squared, that's like multiplying by negative x squared. Okay, And this whole thing is inside the limit. So now this equals the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of what? Well, we still have a negative 1 here okay, from this minus sign. And then this x down here cancels with one of these x's here. So really what we just have is actually negative x. Okay, So negative x. So we have the limit as x goes to 0 from the positive side of negative x, which is negative 0. But that's silly. We can just say 0. Okay. So what we just found out then is, let's uh, erase this here so we have room for this. What we just found out is limit as x goes to 0 from the positive side of x times the natural log of x equals 0. And that's another example of using L'Hopital's rule. Some more examples coming up in the next few videos.